All right, buddy, let's try this. And I think I've got it figured out. So I'm gonna go, so here I am on my home screen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to iMovie. You know all this part. You know how to add video clips uh, with the plus sign here. And as you can see here, my movie four uh, with this Cardinal shirt, that is the one. So I've already, I've already added my clips. And so as you can see here, uh, there's two minutes and 20 seconds worth of clips. And I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna take about a minute off of that with various cuts because of how much I actually videoed and how much I'm cutting out. So I'm gonna click on edit, which is gonna take me to all of the clips. So as you can see here, all of these various clips, you've got the transition buttons in between, um, which I showed you. So one thing I wanted to show you before I get started on editing is how easy it is to move these clips around. So all of these with, with me in my video are uh, in order. Uh, just because that's how I uploaded them. And as you can see, I added the intro and outro at the end. So that's the outro, there's the intro. So what you do is, is you uh, push your finger on it, hold it down, just hold it, and you can see it pops out, and then you can just move clips around. So you can sit there and move it wherever you need to. In this case, I'm gonna move it all the way to the front. And there I have my intro. So let's go ahead and play that, make sure it looks good. Looks good, and then you can see there, so I'm gonna stop it right there, you can see how the tra how that transitions. So that just happens to be, so anytime you wanna click on something and edit it, you just hit it. So you can see how, boom, I highlighted that piece. Boom, I highlighted that. Same thing with transitions. Just click on it, it highlights it in yellow, and then you can see at the bottom here, it gives me uh, six options. So you've got none, which is basically no transition. It just kind of goes straight into it. So you would only use that if you don't want to transition. Uh, and then you've got theme, dissolve, slide. Um, in this case, I'm gonna use dissolve. I'll show you an example, like here. here's slide, just to show you what it looks like. There you go, just like that. Uh, but I'm gonna go with Dissolve just because that's the one I prefer in this case. So then let's go ahead and when you're editing here, what you basically end up spending a lot of time doing is listening to yourself. So we can carry on here. And you can see, you see how bad I sucked getting this going. So I, I could have chosen, I'm gonna pause that there, I could have chosen to stop, delete, restart, and I just know that I can edit this stuff out, so I just kind of sit there uh, getting my bearings, figuring out what I wanna say, and then I edit it out later, and I'll show you how to do that real quick once we get to that point. Fucking idiot. The next one is where it goes. All right, so that's where I got it. So now I'm gonna to toggle. So you basically hold your finger on the clip here and you, you see how we can move it back and I can move it as slow or as fast as I want. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start this exactly when right here. So there it's paused. So I'm gonna click on the white line going down the middle here in the picture and it pops up this bottom section. I'm gonna hit split and then it splits the two sections. So the, side, the part that's highlighted is the part I'm gonna keep. And then this piece right here, I'm gonna go down here at the bottom and hit delete, boom, it's gone. So now you can watch how it flows from transition. See how that worked? All right, so now I gotta listen to myself and make sure it sounds, sounds good because probably what I'm gonna end up doing is, is I'm going to end up editing the end piece where I go and turn off the camera. Uh, I already, I've already done this, so I know that. That's why I'm talking over myself. But usually I'm sitting there listening to myself, making sure I don't screw up, and then um, and then fixing it. So I'll show you here another little trick at the end. All right, now you see how I went there to reach for the camera? So here's the thing. So usually you sh I showed you how you would split earlier so you would click on the white line. The problem here is, oh shit. Uh, the problem here is sometimes you can fat finger things like that and that's what happens. So I just gotta just scroll back. It just takes you to the front. But see, you can see here, look, notice the white line. So this is where I wanna cut it, like right here. There's barely any left. So if I click on the white line here, it doesn't give me the option to cut it because there's not enough room to cut it. So the other way you can edit uh, the video down is click on it, highlight it, and then put your finger on the, the dark uh, yellow line on the right side there, and then just pull it in like this. See how I'm pulling that in? Just like that. So now I'm going to stop it right there. 
Let's make sure that looked good. So now it took out me going to the camera. You can kind of catch it, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna live with, actually, I'll, I'm gonna give it back just a tad bit more. Trying to eliminate, yeah, so I eliminated it there. So on these clips, I actually kind of nailed them for the most part, you'll notice. Um, on this one, there's a slight delay when I start. So here, I'm gonna go back. See how that was a delay there? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the left side in slightly to try to eliminate that delay. Yeah, you see, so you see how that worked then? So the first time there was a delay, now I just go right into it. I'm even gonna bring it now. I'm not. I'm just gonna leave that one because that clip's so small, you can't really get any smaller than that. So if I try to condense that clip, I'm gonna end up uh, screwing it up and having to fix it. And that's a little bit more advanced. I'm just trying to go through the basics, basics right now. So with that one we'll leave, and then we'll flow to the next one. So in this case, I dropped the camera. So so this one was good, no touching. And then as we go into this one, you can see I pulled away because I was I was the cord was attached. Which by the way, um, I will mention that you'll notice that um, the sound of the video is a little scratchy in places because I was using uh, the attached, you know, the the uh, why wi the wired headphones. That's a good reason not to use wired headphones. So that definitely makes this imperfect, uh, but. That's okay, imperfection is okay. I, I'm, I'm a little aggravated with it, but I'm just gonna live with it because again, imperfection is fine. Uh, in this case, it would be ideal to have either a lav mic because that doesn't happen um, usually as long as you don't have it touching anything. And then, or B, you just have wireless headphones, that would be ideal. So, uh, but that definitely happens and it gets worse here. So I'm gonna let this play out. So you can see I dropped the camera, I'm setting it back up and then I wanna get it just right. So just right there. So I'm going to back this up. So I'm going to get it where I'm looking forward. So I'm going to cut that right there. Click on the white, hit split, highlight the piece I want to delete, get rid of it, and then let's check it out. Okay, so now you notice there, see I'm reaching for the camera again, so I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to bring this part in from this side. And now that's not what I wanted to do, so. Actually, in this case, I'm going to click on the white because I think there's enough room. Click on the, oh, nope, there's not. So now I've just got to get the, this is where you fat finger stuff. So you, what you can't see is I'm trying to bring it in from the right side slightly. Having difficult. There you go. Uh, see, that's as far as I could bring it in. No, I screwed that one up. All right, so we gotta bring it back. Okay, right here, and then on this side, I gotta bring it out. Um, right there. So let's see if that worked. And this one's really grabbing. So, okay, so let's see here. We'll do it right there. Split, delete. See how that transitions. Or how about this one? And then I'm gonna have to get rid of that. Like that. All right, so now on this one, I'm going to just bring this front piece in, just like right there. You really get used to watching yourself, which is actually good. Oh no, shit, I need to listen. Okay, so I screwed up. And we're gonna go, so you gotta kind of watch where you start to talk. Delete that out, that piece out. See if that worked. So now you see how I transition that? So right. All 
All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that piece out, I'm gonna bring that in. This one's a little bit trickier because these clips were so short. So uh, it made it trickier because the clips were so short, like this length, the length on these short ones here are as, as short as you can get. Honestly, when you're shooting these videos, it actually is smarter to pause three, four, five seconds before you start and then pause three, four, five seconds when you're done because it gives you more editing room. You can see how I didn't give myself a lot of editing room here, so it makes it a little bit trickier. And that's something you'll learn. The more you get adept at, at editing, you will learn how to do that and how to, and, and how to um, make it easier on yourself. And even myself, who is adept at it, uh, as you can see, I was just firing through these the other morning, and this is the result. So it made it a little bit trickier to edit. So let's uh, make sure that transitions correctly. Just like that, and I'm gonna actually shorten that down just a hair, and then that's it. That should do it, so let's click done, and then let's watch the finished product. There you go. So that literally, uh, I don't know how long this was, probably 10 minutes, 10 plus minutes. That's how about how long it takes once you get used to it um, to, to edit yourself. And you can totally play around with things. That's where I come up with ideas like this, where it's like I can sit there and shoot a multitude of clips. And then you can even, uh, for example, so if I go back to edit here real quick, like if you wanted to put still photos in, kind of like this is, it's not a still photo actually, but you could. So I can just click on this plus button here under the photo. You click plus and it takes you to your uh, camera roll, and then you can put in uh, still images. So like I did last week with the professional photo shot or headshot, um, I could add still photos in between uh, video images or video sh uh, shots. So it uh, you know allows you to get creative with it. And I think the, the key for you is is just to play around with it. So shoot videos with your kids, do your thing, just to, just to play with it, just to get used to it. And then the more you practice, the more you will get really good at it. You'll learn different tricks. You'll learn how to add music. That's where you use the settings. I'll do all separate video clips for that for now. Um, but that is kind of a, a quick tutorial that gives you a complete rundown on how to do this. And uh, I'm curious to get your feedback as to how, if you have any opinion on how I should break that down into individual quick hit resources for you to go in and just kind of keep on hand so that when you're editing and you're like, oh shit, I forgot how to do that. Let me run to this one. Let me go into my library and see what Jeff did and showed me how to do it. So that's it. I will talk at you later, my brother. Thank you for uh, checking us out.